Hello Zickers! Today we'll be talking about a very powerful free tool available to everyone. And I'm talking about the Facebook or Meta Ads Library. Think of it as the ultimate resource for discovering both active and inactive paid ads. And by using it, you can gain valuable insights into targeting, ad structure, design, and most importantly, spot the latest trends and products that are performing well in independent stores. So mastering this tool can give you a huge advantage, helping you gain strategic insights and elevate your e-commerce business to new heights. And for those of you who have already explored the ads library, I guarantee that by the end of this video, you will discover new tips and strategies that you might not even have known. And you'll be like, oh my God, Rogerio, thank you so much for that. <laughs> anyway, together in this video, we're gonna explore how to use the ads library data to your advantage. So are you ready? Let's dive right into it, all right? The first thing of all is what is the ads library and what's its purpose, right? Well, the Facebook ads library is a public tool that allows users to search and view all active and inactive ads across meta platforms, providing transparency into advertising campaigns. It helps businesses, marketers, and e-commerce sellers like you to analyze ads, understand ads strategy, and find campaign inspirations, and also discover new product opportunities. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's this tool really good for, man? Well, if you want to drive quality, targeted traffic to your store, you could rely on organic social media posts that offer value and lead buyers to your store. But organic growth is usually a long-term strategy. And if you want quick, high-quality traffic, well, utilizing Facebook's paid ads can be very effective. But here's the question. How do you create the best ads without wasting time and money? Well, just imagine that instead of guessing which ad creative or copy will work, you could just look at a similar brand or brands or stores and study their successful campaigns. This would save you so much time and effort in figuring out the best way to advertise your product. And in doing so, you're not just saving time, you're also saving money by avoiding testing phases and error. Think of it like cracking and save. Instead of trying countless combinations there while the cops are arriving, <laughs> someone comes in and gives you the correct numbers, or at least the first few, all right? And that's exactly what this tool offers. It's just a glimpse into winning paid ad strategies, okay? Before I show you how to master the Facebook ads library, don't forget to show us some love by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. And if you want to start your Shopify journey, you can do it easily for just $1 for the first month. Yes, that's right, $1 for the first month. And you can use the link below to take advantage of this offer. Now, let's do this. Let's open the ads library and talk about how you can prove your searches, all right? Here we are in the ads library, boom, boom, boom. And the link is provided below in the description. I'm gonna place it there for you. So first, let me show you some tricks to improve your ad search results, right? And for that, I'm gonna click here, view search tips. Now, for e-commerce sellers, the last two sections are especially important for us. So let's look at that together, all right? In terms of the exact phrase, this is very important. Use quotations so that we know you're looking for these words in this specific order. Mary likes cheese sandwiches. You can also search for more than one exact phrase, right? So Mary likes cheese sandwiches, close bracket, and then new bracket, on rye bread, close bracket. And then you have this last section right here, words in any order. So basically this is it, as it's written here, find ads that contain all these words, but not necessary in this order. So you could put like sandwiches, cheese, Mary. Okay, so this is very important for us to get the most accurate results. Now that we understand how to get the best result, I'm gonna show you the example of a yoga niche store for today's video. And you can adjust what I'm gonna show you 
to fit your store's niche, all right? So let's just say I have a store that sells yoga products. And after conducting product research, I found that yoga mats are highly desired and it's the perfect season to sell them and to increase my sales. So I want to create a Facebook paid campaign for this item. For the country filter, I will choose all but you can change it if you want to see ads from a specific country, all right? And the ad category, I will choose all ads right here. And to find ads that specifically include the phrase yoga mat together and avoid getting unrelated uh, like results, like ads for just yoga or just mat, I need to use the quotation marks and search it for, for it exactly as yoga mat, okay? open bracket and close bracket. So as you can see here, I have many great options for ads related to exercise mats, but here's the secret. To take the best practices from an ad, I want to focus on ads that have been running for a long time. My mindset here is simple. If an ad is running for a long time, that's a strong indication that it's successful, right? And the owner keeps it running for a good reason. For businesses, this usually means that the ad is bringing in quality leads and for physical products, it's likely that it means that the ad has a good copy visuals and targeting that are driving a high number of sales. So I need to focus on active ads that have been running for a while. To do this, I'll click on filter and select the following options, right? Set the active status to active ads and click apply one filter. And now we just look for ads dedicated for yoga mats. Okay, so look at this. Let's just scroll down here a little bit. As you can see, I'm looking at some ads from September 2024, and this one's looking pretty good. So I think this one right here can work. I see that these ads refer to yoga mats and they are all related to one brand called Lifeform. But here is what I can do now. I can hold over the brand name and click here view ads to see all the ads that this brand has created on Meta. And now if you actually scroll down here and see all the ads related to this yoga mat brand, you can see that some ads have been active since August 20th, 2024. And that's a decent duration for an ad to be running. But of course, we prefer ads that have been running for even longer. The longer, the better. For this example, I'm going to continue with this brand. Now, from the ads that date around August 20th, 2024, I can understand two key things right here. These ads are performing well with their creative strategy. The targeting of the ads is great and most likely profitable. Now, using the Facebook ads library, we were able to find a solid brand related to our niche store. And then you might ask yourself, how can I be sure that these products are selling well? Is there a way to understand the profitability of this store before I sell some other products and use the same paid marketing strategy? This is where I recommend using the Zig Store Sales Tracker. This strategic tool is essential for every Shopify seller and will complement the data we can gather from Meta Ads or any other platform, including Shopify itself, if the store we found is a Shopify store and we will be able to obtain the number of sales the store has made, identify the best selling items and uncover many more hidden insights. Okay, so let's just open the store we found. I can click here, shop now and the call to action button on the ads that we see here on Meta. Overall, this is a really nice store. Look, you know, at first glimpse, I can see it's a good, nice store. And it seems like the owner has put a good effort to create a user friendly website, which is very nice. It's a good work. Now I'm just going to copy the store's URL right here on top. And then I'm going to open Zix store sales tracker. And then I'll just paste this URL right here like this and enter to get the full store analysis. Now, just note that if the store is already in the Zik Analytics database, you will receive a full report. If not, Zik will start tracking the store from the data you added. And in a matter of days, you'll begin to see the store analysis and everything. It's amazing. Now, look at this. What do you see? I see that the store is already tracked in Zix database so I can get a full store analysis right away. It's crazy. And with only 55 products, this store that we found using the ads library has sold more than 3000 items in the past 30 days. That's crazy. And the revenue from the store 
over the past 30 days is quite impressive. Check it out right here. Now, I can see which products are the best sellers, allowing me to narrow down my sourcing to similar items for my store. And in this case, the best seller is the green yoga mat right here, the first on the list. And then by clicking on the AliExpress button, I can open the product finder and Zik will suggest products from AliExpress that are the same or similar to what the store offers. Look at this right here so many options now additionally zik has identified the organic social media channels of the store which can be useful if i want to analyze best practices for organic advertising and i can click here on each channel to review their organic social media strategies all right let's open here and look at it now from my analysis i can confidently say that this store is one I can replicate for success by sourcing the best selling items for my dropshipping store. So we found a great store using the ads library. We confirmed that this store is performing well and now we need the final piece of the puzzle to review and analyze the targeting of the store we found in the ads library. All right, so before I show you how to get insights about the targeting of the ads and the ads library, I would appreciate if you could smash the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications for more quality videos like this one. And again, if you want to take your online store to a whole new level, you can subscribe today to Zik Analytics and get access to their latest Shopify tools for only $1 for the first week. Now, let's just return to the page that shows all the ads for this store. All right, let's go back here. I will focus on the oldest ads, which are from August 20th. Now we can divide this step into two parts, understanding the copy and ad structure, and then identifying the targeting this store uses for its ads. So first we need to analyze the ad copy and structure. And from what I see here, most of these older ads uses images rather than videos to advertise the yoga mats. That's a really good insight already. Additionally, there is a lot of copy that highlights special promotions like 30% off on all yoga mats. Look at this one right here, among other things. So just from reviewing the creative copy and ad structure, we have all this information. Now let's talk about understanding the targeting of this brand so we can implement similar or lookalike targeting for our store. First, I want to understand where these ads are being displayed. And as you know, Meta allows us to choose which platform it owns where we want our ads to be visible. And we can find this by checking the upper part of the ad right here. And I can see which platforms this brand uses to display its ads, allowing me to target my ads more effectively effectively and save money by avoiding platforms with less potential for buyers. So I can base my strategy on this brand's operations. From what I see here is that this brand is advertising on all the platforms owned by Meta, including Facebook, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger. Now let's explore the advantages of knowing how to set our targeting if we want to sell a similar or identical product. I'm going to show you an example from one of the oldest active ads this brand has so you can see how much data we've gained from this analysis. And by examining these ads, we can identify the best countries to target, the most effective age range and the ideal gender for our ads. And it's also important to note that we should focus on ads that have the EU transparency symbol for accurate targeting insights. If you actually um, examine the data right here, you'll be able to gather the best data about the ad including which countries in the EU it targets, the age range and the gender, it's crazy. So even if your target audience is mainly in the US, you can still gain valuable insights, such as the optimal age range and the gender for your ads, all right? So let's just analyze this ad for example right here. You just click here on see ad details. So after you click on see ad details tab to look for all the data available about this ad, what do you see? Well, first is the location by country where the ad is visible. I see that the target is France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. 
And second is the age range from 25 years old to 65 plus years old. And then down here, I can see the third part is the gender. This ad targets all genders. Lastly, there is the ad reach which will be divided by country and age range. So by clicking here on reach and sorting it from the highest to lowest like this, you can see which segments receive the most interest in this ad. And from here, you can start your targeting by focusing on the top segments with high reach. Now, I recommend that you analyze as many old and active ads from the brand or store you found as possible to gather the best practices. And you will find that by examining these ads, you will have a better sense of how to approach and structure your own ads, including their appearance and targeting when you set them up on the Meta Ads platform. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the video, my fellow Zickers. And as you can see, mastering the Facebook ads library can become a strategic and a powerful tool to identify new brands and understanding their advertising secrets. Remember that by gaining insight in advance about the products you want to advertise, you can save a lot of money, a lot of time, especially the whole part about, you know, like testing which one work basically comes down to time, saving time and money, you know? So don't forget to like this video, give a big like. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. Keep moving forward and see you next time.